Hello everyone! Welcome to my video blog number whatever number it is that comes up. Um, you may be wondering what is up with that girl's hair. But uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> First of all, I wasn't going to shoot this video blog today, but then I told myself, you know what? I'm not out of town. I'm not anywhere. There is no reason why I cannot get off of the couch to come and film this video blog for you. So I have a couple of things that I want to share with you guys, and then I want to get into 10 things that you may not know about me that you will know about me by the end of this vlog and I just realized that I jumped somewhere so you know I when I straightened my hair like over a month ago I cut me some bangs right these are them bangs and uh, wait, let me put this down and um, so when I was like you know fixing myself to shoot this video I, I put my hair on this side right and I started filming oh maybe this is not gonna be a good idea but anyways I put my hair on this side and I started filming and then I paused like two minutes into the video to play it over and it was like really like peacock ish on this side so I was like you know what let's refilm it and I'm gonna put it on this side I put it on this side and it looked like I had a bun <laughs> on the top front part of my head. So then I was like, you know what? I messed up my hair and I was like, whichever way it ends up. And uh, this is uh, kind of how it ended up. Of course, I had to like fix it a little bit. But this is how my hair is going to be throughout this video blog. And... Uh, Feel free to comment or inbox me and let me know what you think. But uh, if you guys like this, I might just have to rock my hair like this. I just feel so <laughs> I, I just feel so like Jerry Curl-ish, you know? Speaking of Jerry Curl-ish stuff, one of the things I purchased this week, don't know what's what day specifically is this herbal essence totally twisted curl scrunching gel so I just purchased this today was the first day that I used this and uh, these are what my curls uh, this is how my curls um, came out uh, my husband and my mom say they like it and uh, it just feels really weird because I'm so used to just using conditioner and um, I don't know and it's level three strong but um, this is okay um, I, I've never been into that whole hard scrunchy um, curly hair feel look and um, that's what it was it started looking like and then I had to kind of like fluff it out because I don't know I just have this thing about looking like a poodle I like looking like a poodle that's so TMI hey that's one thing you didn't know about me so maybe we shall label this video blog 11 things you may not have known about me um, another purchase of mine was this uh, Saturday this yesterday when I went to Bath and Body Works and I went there to look for candles um, but they didn't have a sale on their candles so then I was just looking around looking around and then I just got some lip glosses hmm. I have some lip glosses and um, and I bought these things for my car so this isn't this so adorable they had like a Christmas penguin mm, a peace sign that was all blinged out out of all of them, this is the one that I really, really liked. And this is the last one. So, uh, yeah. Um, you clip this to the visor in the car. And they have these cute, can you see that? Cute little inserts that go in here somehow. I haven't used it yet. But they go in here somewhere. And, uh... It just kind of gives off this uh, sweet pea 
scent in the car. This is really cute. I can't wait to use that. Um, she said that it should last like a month, a month and a half. So we'll see about that. And then this one is for the vent. You uh, clip, you clip this thingy in the vent. And uh, oh, this uh, I got Caribbean Escape. Goes. I'm gonna figure it out, but it go, and then I'm gonna tweet a picture, Instagram a picture, but uh, it goes somewhere in here and it goes in the vent so then when you like uh, use the heater or the AC or whatever it blows out the smell. I stopped off at Victoria's Secret. Oh Bath and Body Works they had a sale on Saturday. I don't know if it's going on right now but it was buy four get two free. So I bought the four things that I showed you just now and I got two extra cents for free. Scents like scents. Anyways, so here's Victoria's Secret. I wanted to try out this uh, tint lip, what? Lip sheen. And uh, I wore it today. I'm not really a fan of this. I don't know. Maybe it's because my other, uh... oh, I can't believe I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, the other one that I showed you, the lip stain, I really, really like that. And this, not so much. But, it, I mean, it's okay. It's like a... Uh, tinted chapstick I guess you can say this I am in love with and it's called sparkle gloss lip shine yeah but uh, this is what it looks like and uh, I really like this one um, I tr hmm, you can't really see it I'm sorry but anyways um, can you see that it has gold shimmer it's really uh, really nice um, I don't remember what lipstick I was wearing and then I put this over and it gave a really nice like glitter like a gold glitter shimmer this is um, two thumbs up and then this one oh my gosh this body by Victoria I love this smell I am so not a floral um, or sweet smell type girl I love like all like the clean and fresh smells and this one is so like on point like I love this it's like perfect like it's smells so clean and fresh and and it's called body by Victoria this is um, a fragrance mist <clears throat> but they do have the perfume and body spray and but I got this because I didn't mean to go to the mall to shop I went there to um, fix my iPhone and I just happened to uh, stay there and um, look number one I love reading like I love books I love magazines I mean I don't know I just um, in my house right now I'm still trying to create a library downstairs but uh, I love like surrounding myself with um, books and, and I just magazine. feel like when you're reading a book, I mean, and it could be any book. I don't have like a specific or particular book. Um, you get like. so into it. It's kind of like you kind of leave reality just for a minute or 30 minutes, 45 minutes. However long you're reading that book, like it's just a way of like getting away without really getting away. I hope that makes sense. Okay, number two, something you may or may not have known about me. Um, I cannot not stand messy food. Like, if it's supposed to be messy, if it's supposed to be messy, like chili cheese fries, okay. But if it's like my mashed potato, my macaroni and cheese, my chicken, my like, it just can't, they just cannot like, be thrown together. That's what I'm trying to say. I just, if it's not supposed to be messy, I, it just drives me crazy when it's messy. I actually like lose my appetite. Like I just can't eat. I don't know. That's just something so weird and so crazy about me. And that's since I was a little girl. I just, I haven't, I mean, nachos, messy, love nachos. Um, chili cheese fries, love chili cheese fries. It's supposed to be messy. But like, I don't know. 
<laughs> like, you know those, um, my kids have those plates where it, like, divides their food in, like, four. Yeah, they need to make an adult version for me. They probably have one, and someone's probably going to inbox me or comment where to get one. And, um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Number three, I am super, super scared of the ocean. I was three months pregnant with my daughter, and we went on this cruise. And do not ask me what I was doing on one of those little... ocean bikes I don't know um I was telling the guy I'm three months pregnant blah 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 and he was like it's okay you're safe no like seriously I got on there and I was like crying before my husband can make a circle I was just like freaking out like the thought of the ocean and there's no bottom to the ocean is like super super scary to me it's very scary number four um, I was a cheerleader in high school and I did not like it at all. I think cheerleading was just like overly expensive and just like a waste of money and my time. But, but my parents told me and my brother that we had to do something like, you know, do a sport or so... <laughs> I tried volleyball, tried basketball, fail. Um, I tried to join the ASB and the yearbook group, committee, whatever, fail. And so me and my best friend at that time um, decided to join, uh, <laughs> it's funny, because I actually tried out for dance, like that, you know, they have cheer and then dance. I tried out for dance and, uh, I didn't make dance, so they um, they put me in cheerleading, and that's how I ended up there. And uh, yeah, if I could do that over again, I don't know what I would have joined. But uh, yeah, that was number four. I did not like cheerleading. And uh, number five, one of my biggest pet peeves is bad customer service. Because I feel like you chose to work wherever it is that you're working. It could be Target, Nordstrom's, Taco Bell, McDonald's. I mean, wherever it is, you chose to work there. So seriously, you should like fake it till you make it to the end of the day. Like, don't be mad at me because I changed my order from a cheeseburger to a Big Mac meal. You know what I'm saying? Um, just... Oh my gosh, I cannot stand bad customer service. Like, I feel like, you know, you chose to work there, so suck it up, you know? Or find another job. Okay, number six. One of my biggest all-time crushes is Marky Mark. I don't know how my husband found that out. I think because all the movies that came out that Marky Mark was in, like, I have to go and see it. I don't know. He's just, like, my biggest crush. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, number seven. Um, what did I write? Oh, well, I've already shared this with you guys. Um, I am not a perfume type girl. I am more of a body splash. I've always been like that. And I think it's because when I was younger, my mom is such a, per like, such a perfume freak that I think she just kind of killed it for me. I hope that makes sense. But, uh... Ooh, these bangs are, like, getting on my nerves now. Okay. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I think one time my mom got me the perfume, um, the Coach perfume, I think. And, um, after I used that bottle, I never purchased perfume for myself. But, yeah, I'm not a perfume person. I am more of a mist and body splash girl. Number eight, my favorite holiday, like ever, ever, forever, ever, is Christmas. But hello, Ugh. gifts, Christmas tree, hot cocoa. I love decorating the Christmas tree. I love standing in long, long lines to purchase three things. Um, I love the rush, the Christmas rush. I love all of that. So, uh, yeah, Christmas, the best. Christmas is my favorite season. Um, number nine, one of my other pet peeves. Jeez, how many pet peeves did I have on this list? One of my other pet peeves 
is people that do not signal on the street. And I am so sad to say this, but my husband is one of those people. My mom is one of those people too. It drives me bananas. Like seriously, I mean, are you serious? Are we on the street together? And how, like, how do you not signal to let me know? Like, I'm not psychic. I cannot see that you are making a left turn. I just, please, please signal when you're driving on the street. Oh, That's the it. last thing. So, if you guys didn't know this about me, one of the things, if I could change about myself, I mean, I love myself. I mean, everyone should love themselves. But um, if you notice, I'm always trying to do my makeup where it makes me look like I have a crease. No, not a crease, an eyelid. So, I don't know how I'm gonna show this to you guys. Here, I'll use this pen. So, um, <laughs> here's something about me. If I could, if I could, if I could, you know how, you know, one of your hand, one hand is bigger than this hand, one foot is bigger than, so this eye is uh, fatter than this eye. So every time I put eyeliner on, I always have to keep it thin because if it gets too thick, my eyeliner will be up here in my crease. And that's because when I look like this, my eyelid is, uh, I'm just going to say fat. I don't know what else to say. But my eyelid is fat here and it comes over my eyelid. So if I could, I would like to have that surgery where it, like they suck all the fat out of here or cut it out to where my eye lid could stay like this. Everyone has something that you want to change about yourself, whether it be your nose or your your the bags under your eyes or your ears or maybe your lips, whatever. Mine are my eyelids. That is like my biggest... I mean, it doesn't bother me, but, you know, if I could, I would. But I'm probably not because mm -hmm. that probably... Anyways, okay, I think that's it. And I think I did pretty good on time. I hope so. I will see you guys next week. But um, I forgot there was something else I was going to... Oh, the DIY heel is coming along. I finished one heel. Um, I also have... Be sure to check out my DIY playlist. I also have, um, I was working on uh, nail art. That's why my nails are kind of a little crazy. But um, make sure to check out that, um, that video. And the blinged out heel is coming along. I shall have it up no later than Tuesday this week. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, bye.